you'll probably be hiking, yeah? But one thing I wanted to share with you, like, we don't, some of you have poles. Poles are obviously great, as we talked about earlier, from uphill. But one thing people often forget is up steep hills, you also totally use your hands on your legs to push off. It totally helps, right? Yep. So it's really steep. Hands on the legs, press it. Use some other muscles when you have the opportunity. Okay, downhill running, same thing, we're going to apply to the trail. The key thing with downhill, most often or very commonly, people overstride. Yeah? You know, it's fast, you know, but what happens is anytime you overstride, it's just it's jarring, especially in a longer race, right? It's just going to be just taxing on the legs. And anybody who's done any racing knows that if they're steep downhills, you're, if you haven't been doing downhill training, what's the muscle the next day that you're just like, oh my god? Quads. Huh? Quads? Yeah, the quads. That's the, when you're the down, it's the quads that are bracing you. So, I mean, how, I mean, even like, like after Philippines, who did the Philippines race? Uh, giant. Shine. Yeah? yeah? I mean, <laughs> how your quads feel, even, even your training on big hills. It's like a 1,400 meter, and the, even the 50K, they had a 1,400 meter straight down. <laughs> Nuts. So anyways, uh, you're trying to reduce the impact of the quad. Later, we're going to look at stairs, which also, uh, you know, uh, really critical as well. But here, you're just trying to shorten the stride, not, not super choppy, but just uh, under control. Yeah? Under control. And not, not really... Yeah? You can run fast, but running fast, you know, under control, shorter shorter steps to reduce that jarring impact. The other super key thing down there, most people, I know the road is not so scary or whatever right now, or that, that's that difficult, but we're, remember, we're gonna apply this to the trail, is you gotta relax. So key, and don't lean back too much. Relax, relax, just su super critical, yeah? So many people tense up on the downhill and make everything more stressful and harder, more energy, more taxing. So relax and then look ahead. Yeah? Looking for the obviously more and more critical, the more technical the terrain. Right? You've got your eyes constantly scanning. Hey, hey Ryan, can I ask a look, question? Looking ahead, yeah. You know, some some parts of this trail are all boots. Yeah. And how do we Go down fast. My question is, how do you yeah. go down fast and try to, you know, take into consideration the long routes? Yeah. The key thing, that's a, I mean, it's a great point because before we enter the trail, we're going to talk about some of the hazards. But like, the key thing is shorten the strides. That's your safety net. Moving fast. So not just thinking, I have to, I have to step, I have to run straight down. You might be, you might be here, you know, moving here, 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 here. And we're going to show later on some technical trail where you see, like Sapri or me, you know, or whoever, we demo how quickly you can move if you just short, short control steps more than anything. That's the key. And the other key thing is, and again, today we're not like, oh, when we see a steep section, we have to run it. I mean, you know, to do what's comfortable. It's slippery today. We're not here to like do anything crazy, right? But it's an ambulance. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but when it's slippery, especially though, a lot of people on when it gets really steep, they naturally are like, "Whoa, what happened?" And you start to lean back. What happens? Yeah, I do this. Uh, uh, um, slip. So I, you actually on the steeper it gets. I mean, sometimes you, you want to actually you almost lean even forward. I mean, of course you need to be careful, but it's amazing. Some fast runner like Safari. Safari, the, probably the faster he runs, the easier it gets. When it's like, I'm kind of blue, we're talking about, you know, <laughs> you know is. but it's like faster because he stays relaxed and it like he just it's effortless, like he's flying. Do, 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 you know? But how do you, how do you face that when you're getting tired and you know your your knees are not gonna answer it to you wanting to go faster? <laughs> well, you have and to. And how do you mean, slow down because the momentum yeah. is just gonna push you downwards? Yeah. I mean, if you, yeah, I mean, it's within reason, right? If you're just shattered, then you need to be, okay, hey, hold yeah, on. You know what, because I'm, I'm asking this question. I, I had a 